Strands and nine runs adrift at the uh, comparative stage. That was after 11 overs. Kirtley Ambrose. Gone. Boone is gone. Ambrose has bowled well since he's brought on to tie things down. He's picked up David Boone, a very, very thick edge, and it's one for 41. Lovely soft little plop when that ball went into the gloves. He's got nice soft hands, Junior Murray. He was in good position there, and it went right into the middle. So Kirtley Ambrose, always the, the best of the West Indies bowlers. Very rare that he bowls badly, and once again, he's done the job that he was called on to do. It's one for 41. New batsman is Dean Jones. Takes the place of David Boone. One for 41, Australia. Conference between Jones and... The umpire. Now I think what uh, he might have asked for is the sweatband off Kirtley's uh, right hand. Now, umpire Prue has um, a difficult task here. He has to convince Kirtley Ambrose, who's six foot eight, that he's to take off the sweatband on his right wrist before he bowls to Dean Jones, who has a broken finger. That could generate an extra yard or two from Kirtley, I would think. The thing about it is that if the batsman wants something to be taken from the bowler's hand or arm, then he's well within his rights to ask for it, and the bowler should comply with it because it will catch in the bowler's eye, as uh, catch in the batsman's eye as the uh, bowler's arm comes over. So curtly has got rid of that. I was about to say that he uh, that broken thumb might get a severe testing from Curtly because he is the sort of bowler who can deliver shorter length deliveries that will hit near the splice of the bat. He mightn't be aiming for the splice of the bat. Very, very swift delivery. Oh, that's going down leg side, but uh, Curtly is very interested in Dean Jones' welfare at the moment. Said. So Mark Taylor is to face Kirtley Ambrose now. He's still steaming in. That's in here as well. He should be out. Simmons. And he did well. Didn't he do well? Phil Simmons' feet went just as he was about to catch that ball. And he managed to keep his balance, keep his eye on the ball. And another very good delivery from Kirtley Ambrose. This time does see the end of Mark Taylor. Yes, it uh, was a very good catch at the end because uh, he did slip. Watch this ball go up in the air. Tried to hit on the leg side. Now, just watch Simmons' feet here. Just slips, nearly fell over, and he recovered brilliantly. What a good catcher he is. So Simmons takes the catch. A very important one indeed, too. So that's the end of Taylor. It's 2 for 48. Edged away, it's through the gap. That's going to race down to third man for four. It's split Lara and Hooper perfectly between first and second slip. Gertley Ambrose can just about manage a smile. That's, oh, it's a chance and down. That was a very quick delivery from Gertley Ambrose, perfectly positioned. Junior Murray dived away to his right, couldn't cling on to the ball. This is lovely bowling from Kirtley Ambrose and really Junior Murray will be very disappointed he couldn't hang on to that. It was exactly the right place to bowl to Dean Jones. Yes, he's a tremendous bowler. Away she goes and down towards the boundary. is there. Australia has a chance. Well, here's a chance here for the West Indies and Mark War has done it again. He's found a way to run himself out. He got himself tangled up with Steve, uh, with uh, Ian Healy between wickets. It was a mistimed hit. It didn't really race to Richie Richardson. He had to come in, but in the meantime, Healy and Mark War got themselves tangled up and Mark War is run out again. Yes, yeah, just watch War here. They both run in the same direction and uh, almost collide and that caused a little problem. And then, of course, the direct hit, and he was nowhere near the line. Dropped the bat at the end of the day, and uh, that really is the one that mattered. 
Dottomade. And Tony Dottomade makes his way to the centre of the, the ground. An enormous crowd in, tremendous atmosphere, but the West Indies doing well, defending 239. Dottomade does well, but he's out, straight down the throat. Brian Lowe chipped that nicely, but didn't get it fine enough. And Lara takes the catch. Dottomade annoyed with himself. He didn't get the placement. He didn't get the ball uh, where he wanted it. I think he was trying to get it behind square leg. Instead, he just put it straight down Brian Lara's throat. Second catch, he's taken it around about that height. And the eighth Australian wicket is down for 187. Slow ball, too good. Peely not happy. Oh, he's laughing. Beaten by the change of pace. Kirtley's very impressed with that one. He likes that. I think he's enjoyed that uh, even more than the uh, some of the bounces that he's bowled. He said it swung four ways. There he comes. We'll see the scene going. Oh, beating for change of pace. Over goes here and in here. We also with a sense of humour. Queen bowled by a small ball from the Ambrose. It's nine for 214. Craig McDermott faces Ambrose with four for 32 in the first final. This is the final over. It goes in the air. It's got five. Simmons will catch it. Yes, a great performance by the big man. A match winning effort by Kirtley Ambrose. He picks up five. A very convincing win in the first final to the West Indies. What a splendid performance from the West Indians to bowl out Australia for 214 in 49.3 overs. The top score there, Mark Waugh 51 before he was run out again. Alan Border 27 and Ian Healy 33. 214 for Australia and the bowling figures for the West Indies. Well, that gives you a good indication of what a tremendous performer Kirtley Ambrose is. 9.3 overs, two maidens, 5 for 32.